Uh, look, the Magic, we don't, they don't, they, they're young. We, we know that, but they've got names that people are interested in, like Bancaro and Bull Bull. They each had 24 points. As far as the future and what they're trying to build there, do we have confidence, Shams, in, in what it is they're doing here? I think they have pieces and, and the development of Bull Bull definitely like he's a guy that dealt with injuries his first couple seasons in Denver. You didn't really know if he'd ever pan out. Would he have to spend time in the G League? Would he have to spend time abroad? But they've really developed him. So kudos to their organization. Paolo Bancaro is a flat out player. We know what he's going to be in the league. I think what this team probably really misses is a guy like Markel Fultz. They need a lead guard. So I don't know where that comes from. Is that Scoot Henderson in the draft? Is that someone else? But they need a guy who can really become that lead point guard and, and game management, be dynamic. Maybe that guy is Scoot Henderson if they get back up in the lottery. Yeah, I think they're on the right path. Look, they're still ways away, but they have something with Paolo. They have something with Bull Bull. Watching Bull Bull play, is, he's got a lot of victor in him where he shouldn't be able to do the things he does at his size. And I love to see him flourish. Look, the Magic are my team. They've been my favorite team since I was a kid. They have no guards. Jalen Suggs has not been very good. Cole Anthony's been out. Their two highest paid players, Fultz and Isaac, have, haven't played. Um, so I think they're doing all they can do. Um, but they, they need, they need players. They need more talent. Uh, Jamal Mosley, he's the man he he's doing everything that he can do. Um, but they, they need to add a guard. They need, they need to, you know, maybe make a package where they get rid of one of these picks. They have the Chicago bulls pick this year too. So they're going to have two possibly top 10 picks. Um, I like what they're doing. I just think they're still, they need that guy. They need, they need to make a, they need to make a splash. They need to sign a free agent. They need to make a trade. They need to do something to package with, you know, these young guys that are developing. Yeah. One, one more name to add to the shuffle there is Franz Wagner. He had a great game last night as well. He was in foul trouble, but he ended up with 21 points and he, he looks the part. And if, if Paolo is who you think he is, and then you, you get another top five pick this year and he can be your third guy, even your fourth guy behind ball ball, they got a lot of talent. They're adding a ton of length. They're building on the front line. They're they're building that more modern basketball, right? Everybody's six eight and up, and then they all can dribble. But it it was amazing watching those guys in person. Bowl is gigantic. He is Victor, right? It, when when we saw him a few years back in high school, he's finally becoming that player in the league. He's had a tough go of it. He has a couple coaches didn't think he had it, and and people were thinking he was going overseas. But watching him run around the court yesterday, just being that nimble at that size. And he's he's crossing people up. He's he's making long threes. He's euroing in the lane, and and it's it's pretty insane. I'm happy for him that he's able to finally become that player that a lot of people believed he could be. And he's only going to get better. He's still, he's still really young. Yeah, they got some stuff there, and I think you guys are right. If they get that playmaker, if they get that floor general, somebody to keep it all in order, they're building something nice over there in Orlando. And also, selfishly, saying bowl, bowl as many times as possible is what gives me <laughs> life. So we need more of that.